Hi, this is Tamako Iwakawa. And David Atkinson with City National Foreign Exchange, and this is Global Perspectives. So certainly the equity volatility was a big issue this week, but there were some further developments in China that we wanted to sort of discuss this week, particularly with the currency. It got very close to hitting that uh, key 7 yuan per level earlier in this week. And what's interesting is that this really has dropped off by, the currency's dropped off by 11% since April, and it's now sitting at a 10-year low. Right. So this intensified uh, tension between the U.S. and China have invited some arguments about whether this has been good or bad for the U.S. economy. Well, first, in the short run, the 25 percent increase in tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese imports has certainly led to higher prices, which means higher inflationary pressure for U.S. consumers. Secondly, U.S. companies are starting to announce that they are looking for alternative supply chains outside of China. This certainly is disruptive because it takes many years to develop a supply chain partner. So, of course, everybody's trying to get to that level playing field, as we all talk about here. But obviously, for China, the strategy has always been to try to divide the business community from the administration to really focus on the short-term pain and not the long-term gain. Uh, but remember something we mentioned here uh, a few weeks back, which is that the sense that China is being unfair is actually something that's shared by across the political spectrum, which is really rare these days, obviously. And then this week we also got some news that Germany came out with some statements basically saying some of the same issues that we're experiencing, they're talking about, complaining about China also. That coupled with the fact that we have uh, Brazilian, Brazilian President-elect Bolsonaro, who has said some tough things about China. And we're starting to see the shift of the rest of the world go with the U.S. to try to change China's trade practices. Right. So our view, perhaps some of these conceptions about Chinese uh, unfair trade practices might be some misunderstandings. But to clarify that, China could perhaps do a better job in advocating or demonstrating that certain, certain unfair or illegal trade practices will be severely punished in China. Meanwhile, in the U.S., it's important that the, both the business community and the White House have one coherent message, a unified message, so that the negotiation process will be more effective. Ultimately, China needs those capital inflows, which are still deteriorating. It seems like it's going to hit that seven handle uh, mm -hmm. within the next couple of months. Thank you very much and have a great weekend.